Hi everyone, and welcome back to Woodland Frenchies. I'm here with two of our pups. We got Annika and we got Angel here. Two of our Frenchies. Put them down in their bed. Good girl. She's our blue Merle. And I just wanted to answer a question from some of the comments. Uh, a comment that we had is, um, do French Bulldogs have to have a C-section when giving birth? Uh, there's a comment that I wanted to do a quick video about and share with you guys the, the answer to that question. So, with uh, French Bulldogs being... Uh-oh. Come here. You guys can come play. Come One Frenchie was stuck over there in their toy. Yeah, you can play right there. Uh, so yeah, with French Bulldogs being short-backed, uh, not having enough room necessarily to give birth, um, just, just based on their um, build. Uh, for us, we do have C-sections for all of our Frenchies. I have heard, you know, some have done it before, but the common practice is to take the Frenchie once their temperature has dropped into the vet and have a C-section. So the answer would be yes. I recommend, highly recommend, especially just for the safety and survival of the puppies. Um, for, for the most part, for the mom, everything, you know, we haven't had any issues as far as that goes. Humans do it all the time. We have C-sections and so forth. One other part I wanted to get to in this video is just kind of the process of how that works. So, you know, obviously you schedule that with your vet and then the time comes in once the, uh, the female, the mom has dropped her temperature and then a C-section occurs. So what happens then is the vet, you know, just like a regular human, the, the puppy is brought out and the puppies are attached to um, their own little sacks with their umbilical cords. And so what you gotta do is, we'll do a little practice here. Uh, so at first they're all wet. So first what you're gonna do is take a paper towel or something and you're just gonna dry them all off and you wanna stimulate them. You wanna really get underneath their elbow and rub um, to get them going because uh, a lot of times, you know, they need to get stimulated and, and get going. Also, you want to try to get their mucus, uh, since they're in little sacs, you know, try to get the, all that fluid out of their mouth. So that's one thing you also try to do. And you just try to get them all dry, rub them, you get them, have them on heat pads and so forth. Now again, I don't recommend you doing this at home. I'm just kind of explaining the gist, how it's going to occur at the vet. And, uh, you know, once they're all cleaned up, you know, stimulated, all the, the uh, liquid is out of their um, stomach, out of their nose, uh, a lot of times the vet's going to give them a dose of, what's it called, uh, plasma, so that the mom, that they don't have to feed right away. If you give them plasma before they leave the vet, then that gives the mom a couple hours to help, kind of help get the milk to come in, and you can take them home and you don't have to feed them right away. So I recommend plasma, um, to give, the, give the puppies plasma. Um, other than that, during that whole, it's just a beautiful time. Most vets don't allow you to kind of be part of it, depending on who the vet is, but I've, obviously I've been a part of it before. And it really is a magical experience just to be a part of a birth. Just like a human, it's amazing just to be a part of that birth with the, of the, of the puppies and really, you know, help along and just raise them, at, uh, have them at that young age. It's just, it's a beautiful thing. And it's something that I think a lot of breeders don't share and, and the people don't understand how amazing it is when you have your puppies. Uh, it's, it's just awesome. You want them to do so good. You want them to grow up big and strong and find a great home. And just being able to nurture them all the way from when they're born, you know, to when they go home is just a beautiful thing. Uh, obviously, it's, it stinks when they have to leave, but if you can find good homes for them, it makes it all worth it in the end. Right, guys? Ace has a home right now. And if you didn't watch my other video, guys, obviously I love Ace, because um, Stella and Raven, they were just like this, this size. And uh, they, it just has, he has a little piece of me that I will always remember with little Ace here. Because he is this little guy. And I love the little ones, and they just have this little energy about them. And uh, so Ace is going to a great home. Yeah, buddy. And again, it's just a special moment when a puppy, when you have puppies, when the mom gives birth. And I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Yeah.